Hi, Mia here, and today I'm going to talk to you about something we don't talk about very often, and that is self-esteem. You know, it affects everything we do in our lives. Have you ever turned down an opportunity to do something fun because you didn't think you'd be good at it? Or perhaps you've had an opportunity to take on a project at work, and you didn't take that project simply because you thought maybe you couldn't handle it. Well, we don't talk about self-esteem, but it's a very important element in both our work and home lives. And so today I just want to talk to you a little bit about that. You know, you're born with a certain level of self-esteem, but then things happen in your life to influence that. Things your parents say, things your friends say, stories you tell yourself, and in the end, you may be suffering from some low self-esteem. And so today I want to talk to you a little bit about how you can improve your self-esteem and thereby allow yourself more opportunities to do more things. You know, when you have low self-esteem, it's kind of like um, a thermostat. You know, you're in control of the thermostat and if it gets turned down and your level of self-esteem goes down, it really affects you. And what we've got to do is learn how to take control of that thermostat. So, you know, everything in our lives affects our self-esteem. Your job, your family, you know, it, it feels like we can never get it all done. Whatever we do is never quite good enough. There's never enough time. Um, despite our best attempts, things don't always turn out like we want them to. And that can affect our self-esteem. And so um, what we want to start to do is to learn to build our own self-esteem instead of looking for that outside of ourselves. So the first thing I'm going to ask you to do in this series on self-esteem is to make a list, um, put a line down the middle of a piece of paper, and on one side, write down all the things that you appreciate about yourself, all the things that you think are great. And on the other side, make a list of all the things that you think are not so great and see what that looks like. And tomorrow I'll be back to talk more about what to do with that list.